My name is Neil Greentree and for 32 years I've been in the caravan industry and advise uh, people such as Glasses Guide, the police, the NCC and I'm now one of the UK's leading caravan experts. I'm an extreme sportsman, uh, an ex-pro windsurfer, uh, an ex-fireman, uh, but nowadays spend more time putting caravan equipment through its paces before it comes to market. Mitsubishi have approached me to test their 2019 Outlander PHEV, which interests me because there's an awful lot of misinformation and fear uh, within the whole caravanning community as to what will happen when tow vehicles move to electric power. Uh, so it was perfect when they came to me saying, we would like you to independently review our PHEV. It gave me the chance to try a vehicle out and really put it through its paces and then honestly review what I thought about it. So as someone who's used a lot of reversing cameras to hitch up to, to caravans, the Mitsubishi system is outstanding. Uh, because it's got a bird's eye view, you clearly see the tow ball, which makes getting under the hitch head super easy. I've put a 2019 Swift Major 6 behind this vehicle, 17 foot long, 1468 maximum weight. So it's going to test this vehicle to the maximum that it claims it can do. The first thing that's hit me is just how smooth this vehicle is. Its delivery of power is actually far smoother than any petrol or diesel I've driven. And once you rewire your mind to realize that in fact with an EV vehicle, the engine is there to charge the batteries. So you're not listening for the revs and how high they are, which means how much power they're delivering. Uh, you actually sit back and appreciate that in fact, you don't need to worry about that in an EV vehicle because the power's just there and it's even. So smoothness is absolutely superb. The whole idea of caravanning or motorhoming, that whole leisure vehicle concept, is people want to be in their own space, a comfortable space, but most importantly, a space they can take to any part of the world or the UK and enjoy a view that they won't get anywhere else. And so, yes, it may be a means to an end, but the vehicle they tow that caravan with is as important as the vehicle they're going to spend time in. And so the whole concept of taking your home with you, which is warm to minus 35 degrees, uh, it's comfortable uh, and it's accessible anywhere you go, has probably allowed the whole caravan and extreme sports uh, lives to merge together uh, throughout my life. This car features regenerative braking. Now, what is that? Uh, it generates power from the wheels. So the, the motors that power the wheels, when the car goes down a hill, they then become generators and put power back in. It's a great way of charging your batteries up at every opportunity. So I'm now going down a hill and I take my foot off the pedal and it's, this is actually charging the batteries. I go up a hill, the, the wheels become motors. And so with this vehicle, it puts power in on every opportunity it can. And you don't have to do anything. You don't have to change anything. You don't have to change the way you're driving. It does it automatically. Now, the drive that I've done this morning, in fact, I've got more power in my batteries than when I started. And that is towing a caravan. That's how efficient this system is on this car. So for a car at this level, I would expect a certain degree of cabin noise. Uh, but as you've probably gathered, you can probably hear now, there's very, very little. I'm really comfortable in this car. I'm liking it, actually. It's towed extremely well. One other advantage I will point out over diesel or petrol towing is the power delivery is far more linear. So what you'll find is, in fact, you're not having to keep the engine within its power band, whether it be diesel or petrol. You don't have to worry about that with this car. You simply put your foot down, and it delivers the power, and it delivers it extremely evenly, and it's very, very impressive. This type of vehicle takes towing to the next level, a better level. It's not a compromise, it's a better level, because it's a better way of delivering power, and that's got to be the way forward. That's got to be what we're looking to go towards, and not fear because it's the future, we're gonna to have to look at it anyway, but we're not making compromise by going with what is gonna be coming in in the future. And it's here now, Mitsubishi have delivered it. Well done, Mitsubishi, you're there.
drive your ambition. Mitsubishi Motors.